Whoa, wait. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Remember a bit ago we were talking about Constellation? I've just been thinking about it since. And Irvin, my husband, used to be Your in Constellation way back. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. This is Hill. And I have to say, folks, that I've been struggling a bit with this game. Um, you know, interface issues. You know, trying to figure out how to do things in the game it, that, you know, the game doesn't explain to you. It, it, it's been a challenge. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish the game in the vanilla state. I may have to start adding mods so that I can enjoy it. But right now, it's it's still strictly vanilla. And uh, since the last uh, recording, we have done some leveling here. And he's now at... Uh, Why am I not seeing this? Level 19, and I don't even see it on the screen. Why not? See, it, it's things like this. Okay, here it is. I'm sorry. It's over there on the, the left side. Level 19. All right, so we've been able to max out the uh, ballistics and pistol certification maxed out. We are starting to put points in marksmanship and uh, we've got one level of that right now and we're doing the challenge where we need to get 30 ranged critical hits also uh, put a point in rapid reloading which I hate to tell you I really don't see a difference he doesn't seem to be reloading that much faster I'm sure he is I mean what is this 30% faster sorry I, I can't really tell uh we have also maxed out the boost pack training and we have maxed out the piloting so I can now fly any ship uh, I've got certain boost abilities not boost but uh, thruster capability when I'm fighting and we've been doing really well uh, with this stolen ship which I have rechristened the space needle so we've got that going on, and uh, I guess there's one more thing with fitness. Uh, we do, well, I, I can put a point here in, in fitness. I've completed the challenge. I don't have any skill points right now, and I did put a point in weightlifting so that I have a little bit more uh, carry weight, and uh, we've completed the challenge here, so if I do get some more skill points, I could put something in here so that I can carry more. But that's basically it for the base character. Now, as far as powers, we have gone looking for powers. And, uh, you know, we've got a few here. Anti-gravity field. Grav dash. Personal atmosphere. Gravity wave. And precognition so what I've never really looked at this so bend time and glimpse the future seeing the path someone will walk and the words they may say oh that's interesting okay so yeah those are the um, powers we've been able to pick up and uh, hey there. we're about to get back into the role play we have a mission here that we're going to embark on called Ground Pounder and this involves a, a merchant said there are a lot of spacer activity in the Altair system he heard an urgent distress, distress call and we'll need to go to Altair to learn more alright A 
up for grab, Jump. This is the captain speaking. Everyone, to your action stations. vapor and why isn't my helmet on? Did you say something? This uh, special pistol here or ten. sets the enemies on fire. I was hoping I would be able to pick some up off of these uh, corpses, but that doesn't seem to be the case. This was certainly a slaughter.
if that's you. Get out of here! Find anything worth selling or using? A few things. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. All right. You know what? You you can be just as worrisome as Sarah. I, I didn't think that would happen. Thought you would be a, a quiet companion. But it's all right, bro. For now, we'll get through this. All right, looks like we're headed downstairs. What? Ah, uh, thank God. I figured if I talked myself hoarse on the comms, the cavalry would come. I was expecting some free star militia, but any port in a storm, I guess. Well, I'm a United Colonies Vanguard captain. You got the UC Vanguard to think. The what? <gasps> As if this couldn't get any weirder. What, what do you mean? Before spacers broke into the outpost, I was relaying orders for Lieutenant Torres. Torres ain't bad as far as COs go, but we'd have been flat out murdered if it weren't for the, and I can't believe I'm saying this, the UC Marines. So, and this is important. You see a Marine, don't shoot. They're friendlies. Just a few years ago, that would be unthinkable. My, how things have changed. All right, well, I got it. Anyone willing to fight spaces is good in my book. No arguments here. So first things first, the makeshift infirmary isn't gonna hold. They set up on the ground floor in the security section. The whole place is on lockdown, so you'll have to find a way there. Talk to, um, uh, Lazama. He's the only thing between them and, well, you get the picture. Can you give me a tactical breakdown? When Torres triggered the lockdown, I was with Lazama and the doctor in security, but the lockdown cut us off. Last I knew, Torres was fighting in the complex. Somewhere. The Marines were guarding the back entrance. No idea what's up with them, but that intel's old. Sorry, that's all I got. Okay. Well, don't worry. I'll make sure the, infir the infirmary stays safe. You are something else. Be safe, be bold. A dead soldier ain't no help to no one. Well, before we go, is there anything in here I can use? Like, ammo. All right, looks like nothing. Let's go. Mm, so this is what the Marines are, are wearing. <laughs> it's going down. Okay, where's that coming from? Oh, he's in there.
missing anything. Fair game. Now is not the best time. And you'll be alright, whatever it is you gotta say to me. It'll keep. A shielded lab outfit. Okay. Alright, I think we need to go this way. Quite a few of them. I can take it. We gotta leave now. Keep taking us off. Please. I've done this a thousand times. All right. There's still some more. So this is the lawgiver. occur in here. People eating their meals. Gun down. Look out, Barrett. this way. This is it. Oh. What? You think he's a spacer? He's the one that cleared him out. What do you mean? You're Lazama. Corporal Lazama. You see Marines, medic. We thought we were done for. I'm... 
I'm... Oh. And meet the esteemed doctor. Musa, right? It's his party we crash in. Um, are the wounded okay? We've lost too many good soldiers and scientists to the spacers. But everyone here is stable and will recover. Assuming we can clear the outpost of spacers. All right, well, Private Mahoney sent me. Mahoney's a machine. She's wasted on this rock. And this... Uh, what the heck are you guys doing here, anyway? Doctor. Doctor! Yes. I mean, yes. Astrobiology. We study non-Terran life forms in the settled systems. We, uh, seek to understand the various flora and fauna and search for practical uses. And what sort of uses are we talking about? Medicinal, industrial, or just understanding how life propagates. We work purely on non-military applications. It's part of our charter. Well, I don't think the spacers care much about your research. No offense. No. They've... They've been trying to take over the whole system. For months. Listen, we can't waste time. The Freestar CEO, Lieutenant Torres, he locked down the complex. I'm not sure how long he can keep his troops safe. Last I saw Torres was on the third floor, near my office. Take this key and get to Torres. It should open everything except the security doors. Get to Torres before his men are wiped out. Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Is there anything here that I could use? Med pack, yes. I see y'all don't like to use ballistic weapons here. Okay. Barrett, looks like it's this way. Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? All right, you've been bugging me. Go ahead, go ahead. I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic, and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. Whoa, wait. What are you talking about? Oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself there. Remember a bit ago we were talking about Constellation? I've just been thinking about it since. And Irvin, my husband, used to be Your in husband. Constellation way back when. So my mind jumped to thinking about him. So I was listening to these old messages to hear his voice. Oh, I see. Okay. Were these previously unread messages? I mean, I didn't know, Barrett. I, I didn't know you were... special. No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. It was a difficult time. All right, well, I hope it was comfort. It was surreal, honestly. So, most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. But the message was garbled after that. Are you seriously worried about something from 20 years ago? Kind of. Really? I mean, it depends, right? If it's something that's still happening today, then I care. This isn't about terramorphs, I hope. So, is there a point to this? Just wait. Listen. The point is that I found an encrypted message where one shouldn't be. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin. And he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. 
What was the message? He said they were going to destroy his life if he didn't leave the planet now. Then he asked me to help clear his name. Said they had a case against him. Oh, he sounded so upset. Was he injured? No, he was frustrated and angry. He said they were going to destroy his name. All right, well, that must have been difficult to hear. <sighs> yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Who is they? His former employers at some job he took before he died. I think it was a mining company. Hmm. What was he framed for? Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. But Irvin is dead, and I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, how, how can we help him? I understand that. Trust me. But I still want to know what happened. He mentioned a court case. So there's a paper trail. Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I'd need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. And what is your contact going to do for us? Uh, he knows how to navigate archived and redacted legal documents, so he'll look for anything to do with Irvin on Gagarin. If those documents are protected, he might have to pay to access them. Might need to grease some palms, too. All right, well, I'm sure Constellation and Stroud could pay for it. That makes sense. Irvin was one of us, after all. Oh, he was, okay. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him, <laughs> even though I know I can't. Does that make any sense? Well, it does make sense, but do you think this will help him? What do you, what do they call it, posthumously? No, I know I can't. I just don't want whoever hurt him to get away with it, if that's what happened. Well, if Irvin was that upset, then it must still be important. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. What? Well, Who is anyway, that? I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. All right. Well, good. Can we get back to our mission? Thank you. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got the key. Good. Oh, this is the one he gave me. Am I? Open up now. Uh oh, I didn't bounce it. I wanted it to. Back here too. 
There's somebody in that room. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are messing with the wrong soldier. Sudden moves. Damn spaces. Too many Lieutenant of them. Torres. Are they all gone? Thanks to the stranger, every last one of them is down. Some fancy work there. How many more are there with your unit? You got sniper support or something? Oh, you're being funny. No, it's just the two of us. Holy shit. The two of you did all of that. Yes, we did. <laughs> We're that good. You're welcome. No pictures, please. We have to help Captain Myung. She's behind the barrier door. But she's not Freestar, Lieutenant. Our first priority is our men and our scientists. She came in to save us, Sergeant, when no one else would. I will not leave her out to dry. The UC came here to help? What? We were hours from being overrun, and then Myung and her Marines landed. And they saved us. We were desperate, so we just welcomed them. Together, we've managed to hold the outpost. Why the captain came to our aid? Oh, you'd have to ask her. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting this Captain Myong. She's... something else. But, Lieutenant, they're the UC. We can't... Sergeant, I am ordering you to help us save those Marines. How? We got a security override key. If the Marines are still alive, they'll be by the other entrance. We all work together. We should be able to save them. Or die trying. They are soldiers that need us. Are you... up for it? We could really use your help. I'm not gonna see good Marines die. Good. Here's the security key. You take point. The captain's down one floor. Okay. Try to get my bearings here. Is there anything in here that I might need? That. 
What's this soil box? Oh, what will you look at this? right here. came down a level. I'm not sure where we need to go from here. It's like they're right over there. I feel like I need to go up to go down. So I think we went 
down the other stairs. Oh, here we go. This way, just want to make sure that nobody interrupts us. To the Marines, oh, wow. Alright, so you must be the captain. Huh. You don't got the look of a Marine. Certainly not the militia. Who are you? Uh, no, but I'm in the Vanguard. Huh. More UC bailing the FC out. Captain Myung, UC Marines. Veteran of the Colony Wars, the shield of Pardu Pass. Best damn marine in the service. <laughs> and that loudmouth is Private Sai. If she wasn't such a hell of a soldier, she'd be polishing latrines for the next decade. Mm. You've saved lives here, and that is something I won't forget. Even I've heard of you. You're a big deal in the UC. I just managed to stay alive, mostly. Don't believe everything you see on the news. The news is really more of a boring reality show most of the time. The captain and all her marines... Oh, we'd all be dead if it weren't for them. You lot may be Freestar, but your ground pounders first. I wasn't about to let you all die ignobly to those rabid spacer bastards. Um, what happened at Paduk Pass? War happened. Paduk Pass is a graveyard now. Lots of good soldiers, both sides, are buried there. Captain Myung held that pass for a week against the best mechs the Free Star could throw at us. When she pulled out, she blew up the whole damn pass, took out a full mech battalion, might have saved the entire nearer front. Don't believe the propaganda, Private. Paduk Pass was dirty business all around. Well, it's damn fine to meet you, Captain. You've got spirit. That's what we need right now. We've bought ourselves an old-fashioned stay of execution here. But it won't last long. The bastards are disorganized, undisciplined rabble. But they got spaceships and we don't. That means they can keep dropping reinforcements until they greatly outnumber us. Then the cowards will hit us. Hard. Then it sounds like we have our work cut out for us. Give me a few years and I'd make you a Marine to be feared. <laughs> I have a more immediate problem, Captain. I have troops and civilians in the field. If we don't act, the spacers could take them out. I 
can't abandon them. Damn it. What sort of leader would you be if you did? But we need every trained soldier to fortify and get the defenses back online. Mahoney said their last transmission indicated they were in trouble. If you could perhaps take your ship to the research camp and clear out any spaces. Hmm. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound, I guess. I, I know this is asking a lot. Lives are at stake. Just go quickly and safely. Okay. Did I finish uh, looting these? using it anymore, so why not? All right, Barrett. We got our work cut out for us. Come on, let's go.